Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is episode number five of the uh, enclosed trailer build. I had a, quite a bit of things completed this week. I hope you enjoy this video. Got the trailer painted yesterday. I had help from my wife and kids. Spent a couple hours painting it. It's all done and ready. Before we painted it, I added a little uh, mesh screen here. This is where I'm gonna put a generator. So this is kind of an exhaust uh, fan. I'll, I'll put another fan up top here so it blows uh, air out. But it, there's gonna be a generator compartment there. Everything else is still the same as I showed you before. I'm gonna give it a couple days to dry properly before I uh, start our assembly. The axles are installed. It didn't take me a lot of work to do those. I, a couple years ago I built a dolly. So I just dragged them around. I torqued the suspension. Best part of any build is the final assembly. So nice to have the tires on. You know, when I'm torquing the bolts, I'm torquing them hopefully for the last time, for quite a while anyway. Cinder blocks are off, all the wood's off, it's standing on its own. Good progress today. It's attached to the truck. It's signed. Maple leaf. I had to do a little bit of touch up paint on it. Tires are installed. I did install the lights. I actually put a little silicone on the inside of the grommet and I push it in, and that way it's held in place. It's not going to fall off. I also installed the rear lights. And my garage has changed from metal fabrication to electrical. So I have wiring diagrams here. And I also bought this harness for the trailer. Uh, this is where it connects to the truck. It comes with a weatherproof box here. That's pretty nice. However, the only problem with it is uh, it's wired. The wiring and color coding is actually for an RV uh, rather than a uh, utility trailer. I don't know why they do that, but there's two different kinds of uh, uh, trailer wire color coding. Uh, there's the seven way traditional, and this is what my truck is, is how it's wired. And there's the RV standard, and there's some commercial and agricultural trailers wiring diagrams. Um, the harness that I bought comes with this wiring diagram. I want to wire my trailer in this wiring diagram. And there's a few wires that are swapped, like the tail lights are brown traditionally, and for the RVs, they are green. There's like three different colors. The green, yellow, and brown are actually swapped. So that's why I had to swap them here. Uh, and this is what the wires, I'm going to, this is a four, um, four wire, 14 gauge that I'm going to run on the length of the trailer uh, to the back. And I also have um, wiring diagrams um, that I got off the web. I'm not going to follow them to the, to the letter, but um, I'm going to make some modifications and wire it uh, for what I think is right. Uh, and I also had to wire the uh, I find the wiring diagram for the breakaway switch. I'm obviously going to be uh, putting a, a battery inside. So this is the breakaway switch, and um, I also bought this tether for it. It's a different tether that is uh, 
it's better I think than the original one and uh, I have my wires here uh, 16 gauge brown this is for the uh, um, running lights uh, tail lights and running lights and 12 gauge wire green uh, blues for the uh, for the brakes and then red and white white is usually the ground and red is for accessories I'm gonna use I have all my connectors already and the uh, split wire loom so I'm about halfway through the wiring just finalizing the brake wiring just run it all through my head just to make sure where everything is going before I attach them and put them in the wire loom everything is tucked in nicely through the C channel I have a little bit of wire left over here these are to go to the uh, to the roof spare tires installed These are also for the tail lights up high. Uh, I also installed the winch. This winch is to open the rear door. So I have to wire it. spent all day working on the trailer finished the deck well it's not complete yet I just got the uh, the aluminum I still have to screw it in so this is the aluminum tread plate nice and shiny for now